Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the LEGO Super Mario Yoshi's Gift House set. This is set number 71406, and this has a total of 246 pieces, and this set was released on August 1st, 2022, for $30 in the United States. But let's take a look at it. The design of this Yoshi in green is the same exact build, but a different version that was used in the Mario's House and Yoshi set. This version to the right has this new Half Moon piece in white, instead of having those pizza slice pieces on his tummy. But other than that, the same pieces are similar, rather be these printed nostrils and eyes at the front, as well as these arm pieces and his cheeks. And on the back, we do have his hair as well as a saddle and a tail. And on the bottom, we have this feet piece in orange. And for Monty Mall, this is the same character who appeared in some other Lego Mario sets from the first wave, like the Desert Pokey and the Monty Mall and Super Mushroom expansion sets. Rather be that face print at the front, and there's no prints at the back. And also, we have a 2x2 two two tile barcode on top, which means Lego Mario can step on Monty Mole one time, so that you will get one coin. Moving on to the build of Yoshi's house, the design of this is a reference to Super Mario World for the SNES. And the whole build is connected by using these new curved angle pieces. Those new pieces that I'm talking about were from the $130 Peach's Castle set. And that set has them in blue, while this $30 set has them in green, which is a different color. So that's great to get these new pieces in a cheaper set. But other than that, the build for this front archway uses a new printed 2x4 tile, which reads Yoshi's name, and then we also have a small blue bird on top. And under the archway, there is this small platform where you can place Yoshi right here. And at the front, we have a 2x2 two two tile barcode that like a Mario can step on just like this. So that you will have some Yoshi interactions like jumping around. As well as stepping on enemies so that Yoshi can eat them. So that's pretty neat. And I think they didn't have this interaction in the Mario's House and Yoshi set from 2020. And this was before they introduced this new Yoshi interaction from the Luigi's Dark Horse set in 2021. To the left of the archway, we do have a small red mailbox. And inside, there is a printed 1x2 piece that represents an envelope or a letter. And how this works is that you can actually place these letters inside the mailbox by putting them in this slot, just like that. To the left of the mailbox, we have a red berry hidden inside this tree that you're supposed to knock over. And after that, like a Mario can step on the berry and then tilt him forward. So that you can eat up the berry and get a few coins. Another way that you can interact with the berry is to step on it once again. And then bring it over to Yoshi. So that you will be worried with a few coins. And I think this is the same interaction that was used from the Pizza's Castle set. Of how you can deliver the berry to other characters including Toadette. And then to the right... We have this build for a fireplace and this chimney all connected to this tree build. And as you can see, there is this red button at the side that like a Mario can push just like this. And once you turn it around, you can see that this actually drops a green berry. And this is how the play feature works of how you can place the berry right here. And then let Lego Mario push this button forward in order to drop the berry, just like that. But just taking a look at the interior of Yoshi's house, we have this built over on the right for a bed. 
Oh, and this is the other side of this build for this tree that has a red berry hidden right here. And what you do is to place one of your Lego Mario electronic figures in this bed, just like this. So that they can go to sleep. And as you can see, Mario is definitely sleeping, but with disease on his screen chest. And I think eventually, he will actually completely turn off on its own. Over on the far right, we have this small build for a mole hill where you can place Monty Mole right here. And then we also have this build of how you can change up the berries. How this contraption works is that if Lego Mario steps on a berry just like this, and then hop onto this platform, and then turn this crank at the side just like this, in order to let the berry transform into a different color. And as you can see, I turned this green berry into this golden berry. And what you do is to let Lego Mario hop off, and then you can actually eat up the berry, like normal. But you can also take the berry and wrap it up in this small present build. The design of this present also appears in the Peach Star Course set, with this 2x2 two two brick with the prints for the ribbons all around, as well as a 2x2 two two tile barcode on top. And how this works with two players is that if one player steps on the berry and wraps it up in this gift box just like this. And then if the other player steps on the present and open it. A second player will get the berry and get a few coins. And this is the same interaction that was used in the Peach Star Course set. And finally, there's not too much else to show with Yoshi's house. And this set would be cool to put this in a LEGO Super Mario World mock in order to expand Dinosaur Land. But that's it for my review of the LEGO Super Mario Yoshi's Gift House set. And I hope you enjoyed this set as much as I do. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for future LEGO videos. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.